Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. I got a cracked window. Well, if I take off this piece, I'll be able to see the joint in between the two windows. And if I have to put it back, I have to put it back. This next step isn't necessary. I'm just showing you how I did it because that way you'll know that you don't need to. That inner piece of trim, all that does is cover the edge of the uh, window frame and it's not required to be removed. But I did it and you get to watch if you want or you can fast forward a little bit and I'll show you how I take out the inner trim which does have to come off. get the front trim off I first took my jackknife and cut the paint between the two pieces so that it wouldn't glue the thing together and then I forced my jackknife into the opening and that wedge did open enough to get the the uh, crowbar in there and I used the well it's actually a pry bar I used the pry bar to pull it off now the nails are straight in but you have to be careful because the wood is fragile and it'll tend to crack. I used a similar method to remove the inner trim. Cutting along the gap between the two pieces of wood with the jackknife to break the seal between the boards that the paint creates. And then jamming my jackknife into the gap to create an opening and then using the pry bar to remove the trim. With the ease and accuracy of 2020 hindsight, I would say this next bit of work, which amounted to about an hour, could be better served by, even though it's messy and dirty and makes a horrible bunch of dust inside the house, take a dual action sander and just sand off the surface. That'll reveal the nails that I spend quite a bit of time trying to find. Once you've got them found, then you still have to chisel into the front of the board to get the head of the nail exposed so you can grip it and pull it. It looks like it's foggy outside, but that's just where the seal on the inside of the window is, is broken and it's letting humidity inside the glass. That's what's causing the fogging in the glass. Now here was a real fun part. I had to go outside and reach in with a putty knife and cut the paint on the back side of that piece of trim. The idea was I wanted to get it loose so that I could pull it a little bit out and then tap it back and that would cause the finished nails to be pulled out of the wood and then tap back in a little bit so I could pull them. Because this doesn't come out straight. It comes out to the side. So I tap the boards back in. That caused the 
finish nails to pop through the paint and then I could scrape off the paint, find the nails, pull the nails, and then slide the trim out into the room. I couldn't pull it away from the 2x4 straight up because it was trapped in behind the the uh, other trim at the top. This has got to pry, got to be inside. It was a real that. pain. This is not a fun part of the whole thing. But you have to be careful because this trim will break. Got and there is no more it, of it to get. There was nails in if the you other break one. it, you're going to have to make more trim out of something. So it's fussy, tedious, nasty work. Eh, it took about an hour. But it's well worth it when you're done. And that's why Anderson doesn't want to replace one single pane right in the there. window. And yeah, got a nail there. the glass company will come and do it. But they're going to charge you an arm and a leg because and somebody has to spend that time. Pull the nails, I took a quarter inch wood chisel and cut a chip on the top and, well, in this case, the top and the bottom. It's actually uh, along the long grain so that I could get the head of the nail exposed. Then I took a small pair of vice grips, like four inch ones, because they had the narrow jaws. And I grabbed a hold of the head on the nail, then using the uh, pry bar, I pulled the vice grip and that pulled the nail out. Otherwise there was no way to grab a hold of the head of that nail. Long, tedious, god awful job to do this. I don't think these windows are ever designed to be repaired. If they are, there's a different way of going at this that I'm not seeing. Because I would expect to see a way to get in there and pull that out. Now, I have a putty knife clear back in behind this thing. So it looks like these actually nail in kind of like the one on the bottom.
Oh, there. Got that one out at least. So that's three. And this one was toenailed in through the side. To the top. It came down from the top and into there. And lock that in. I wonder if they didn't figure you'd just take the whole window out of the wall. Well, I'm not at that point yet. But I'm getting close. There's a nail. Why isn't there a nail down here somewhere? I would expect a nail halfway between. Looks like twisting is the way to go. Prying doesn't seem to work that good. They tend to break off. And it looks like at some point in its life, this thing has had a bending experience. Once I get a side out, then I'll know how the other side comes out a lot better. And I won't have to do quite so much. Well, it must be there's just a nail here. We'll go on up. I'm lucky I don't have this glass fall out of my head. And I think I got a nail up here. Yep. Right there. If I get these nails out, I should be able to pry this out away from the... Unless it's nailed up from underneath, which is, you know, highly likely. Now the only drawing that I saw, the only plan of this window that I saw was one of a slightly newer model. And they may have changed the process of how they put this thing together. But we're going to find out as we go along just exactly what makes this thing tick. Twist it back and forth and pull, and out it comes. Now, I would expect there to be a nail in here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Bet there's one right there. There it is. That's all the nails. Man, this is going to be one bear to get out of here.
I went outside with a long bladed putty knife and drove it down through the gap to make sure that I'd gotten all the nails out. Then we started the process of trying to pull the piece of trim off the inside. Next, I take a wide bladed putty knife and I drive it into the crack between the window frame itself and that piece of trim to make sure that I've got the paint bond on the inside broken loose. Okay, that paint joint is broken. This whole thing has to come loose. like that. I stuck the chisel into the side of this thing down there and was able to pry out on it. I'm willing to bet that I missed a nail. came out. Yep, there's a nail up here. So there's two nails on this side, just like that I'll bet. And there's a there's a nail down here that was way up here on this edge. Right in there. I can see the dent. It was an odd spacing. Okay. Well now we have the idea and the thing that holds this window in it's this little metal clip right here. One, two, three of them. And there's another one buried in here. Now I wonder if I can just reach in there and pry that out without pulling the nails. If I can do that, I'll save a whole lot of work trying to fix the, where the nail holes are. That would be a very good thing. Drive the chisel in there, get a good bite on it. Ah, the board broke. I don't want that board to break. I want to have this come out. So I'm better off finding at least a couple of the nails down here so I can get a good bite on the end of that board. the nail out. Now see if I can do the same thing to the top one. I'll leave this middle one for last. That way it doesn't drop out of the window on me. If it will. I think it's still glued into the top of the paint. But uh, you know that can happen really quick. This little pry bar has got me out of more trouble.
open up that gap a little bit. Then get the pry bar down in there. Now I hope this answers the question that people had about how do you get the window out of the frame. It's not easy. I had to pull the bottom piece loose so that I could get the bottom piece to pull out because the bottom piece traps the sides. Once I got the sides loose, then I could pull the nails by chiseling out the heads of the nails and then pulling them out with a pair of vice grips. Once I got the nails out, then I could put a chisel down in at the bottom and start prying that uh, board loose and then work my way up to the top and, and pull this sideboard off. Because these sideboards are mortised actually kind of like tongue and grooved into this side piece. It's got a dado on the the board here and the, the board that goes in it's got a dado so it's got to come out this way. So take the bottom piece loose, slide the sides in and tip them out and then you can pry them out past that upper board. Once you've got that done, then you'll see the three straps, the three metal straps on the sides. You pull the nails that hold the metal straps and pry the metal straps free of the dado that they're engaged with. And you can push the window out at the bottom, slide it out, out onto the, the I slid it out onto the porch. Wherever your outside is, then you slide it out, out there. So that's how you get an Anderson window out. Not going to be easy. Next step, I'm going to take apart the, well, after I get the panel put back up on the wall here to close the window opening, then I'll take apart that, take apart the four corners on that window frame because you have to take the four corners apart to get the glass out of it. And there's little uh, plastic blocks in there that keep the window from moving side to side and it's caulked into place. So it's an involved process. I'll show you that too when I get around to it. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. And I hope you don't have any broken Anderson windows. They're a pain. Do you want your dinner? Huh? This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.